much joy. When I look at all of them souls last week in Orlando, 158 souls. 158 souls in two days. Brother and sisters, these are truly the last days. And God Almighty is good to us. I want to thank all the false prophets that's hollering about us. I want to thank you kindly from the depths of my holy sanctified soul. And you may not wonder why I'm thankful. There are some people who never heard of us. They heard of us as a result of you hollering. Let me give you my testimony. There was a fella in Atlanta, Georgia, Tony Smith. I never met him. He was hollering about me for years. Never met him to this day. If I saw him, I probably wouldn't know what he looked like. He was hollering about Pastor Jenny year in, year out, year in, year out. So one day I called his bluff. Told him to meet me in Rocky Mount. We had a meeting down there at the school. The school was packed. I told him, come on down and stand behind what you say. And he did what I knew he was going to do, not come. And I told him, well, you don't come. I won't waste my time and talk about you again. But he was talking about me so much. There were some people in Germany that heard about me from him. And he talked about me so long that people wanted to know, well, who in the world is this Pastor Jennings? <clears throat> so they turned the truth of God on, flew from Germany to America and went down in order in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me show you how God worked. As a result of a false prophet criticizing us, calling me everything but a child of God, now we got a church in Germany. Because the devil used someone <laughs> By God's permission. It was by God's permission. You see, what the devil uh, meant for evil, God made it good. So this is why I tell the false prophets, I'm so thankful that you holler about this. You know what they do when they get a Grammy? <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> you touch my heart. When you get over the air and use up your airtime for us, right. let us give them wicked fellas a hand, folks. Glory <laughs> to God. Now, I want you to be obedient. You keep doing this now. That's right. You keep it up. Keep directing the people to the truth of God. Make them curious. Yeah. Who is this that got this fella yelling all day, all night, can't sleep, can't eat? Who is it? Who, who is it? Lead them right to this message. That's right. Oh, man, I tell you, you'd be surprised how God maneuver yeah. to bring people to him. Oh, yeah. All right, I want to arrest you this evening. We want to invite everybody to God's prison. Get me. This is the inmate church That's right. of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's right. Come a time in our life that being arrested is a necessity. That's right. Now, being arrested on God's terms, I hope you hear this, is good. Because when God arrests you, he wants to arrest you that you may cease. Thank God your criminal activity. I want to show you this with Bible. With Bible. In the third chapter. Of the book of Ephesians. Of the book of Ephesians. All right, give us some more juice back there, John. Give us a little bit more juice for me and Williams. And, hey, man, you know the way my mouth is. John, glad to see you. Glad to see all my brothers and all the cameramen, we thank God for them, too. Amen. Amen. Uh, I thank God because when we first start, 
telecast, uh, Skeleski and all of his camera crew was all Catholics. And uh, before you know it, Skeleski went down in the water in the name of Jesus Christ. Matt went down in the water in the name of Jesus Christ. And I was in Columbia, uh, no, uh, Florence, South Carolina. And there was hundreds packed inside that hotel ballroom. And I was asking somebody, where's John? And someone, my phone pinged. And John, who was originally from Poland, he was raised a Catholic. And someone took a picture of him. He was standing in the water. Going down in the water in the name of the Lord Jesus. So I have two more new cameramen that's here, and I'm working on them too. Yes, I am. Hey Amen. He looking around. That's right. I'm working on him too. The other one, he back there. He can look up over his head. Glory to God. I'm looking. I'm working on him too. Amen. Huh? Amen. Why? The Lord our God, who's the giver of life, is coming for creation. Amen. And let us also remember our brothers and sisters in the Ukraine. Because we have, listen, let me show you how strong this message is. I was getting mail coming in from the Ukraine. Please come here to baptize us. Please come here to baptize us. And I took too long for them. They flew from the Ukraine, came to headquarters, and went down in the water in the name of Jesus Christ. So we have Truth of God followers in the Ukraine. And uh, war is a fulfillment of prophecy. The Lord our God said there shall be wars and rumors of wars. But uh, I say to you, Russian men, who's under Putin's delusion, He's a murderer. And to invade another country because of your murderous lust. His actions are the actions of almost every government in the world, including America. When other countries do not agree with America policies, what America do? Sanction them. When Barack was president, he went to Africa trying to shelve homosexuality on Africa. Amen. The African government said, we don't do that here. Amen. So Barack threatened the continent of Africa with sanctions. If Africa don't accept same-sex marriages, who in the world want men to marry men get that bad that you were sanctioned and keep the necessity things of life from a hungry people? America is just as wicked as anybody else. That's right. That's right. So when America speak out against other forms of government, who's practicing the same thing that America does, then America is a hypocrite just like any other government in the world. Are you listening? Jesus prophesied there shall be wars and rumors of war. And ye shall hear of war. Do you hear this in, in the Matthew book of Matthew? Matthew 24 and verse 6. Listen. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Jesus said, ye shall hear of wars. And rumors of wars. And rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. Oh, you hear this? That's right. Don't be troubled. For all these things all must All these pass. things must happen. But the end is not yet. The end is not yet. That's right. It's coming, but it's coming. the end is not yet. So as Russia invades the Ukraine, other countries is trying to stay out of it. But Putin don't care. Lust, greed, love for power drives a person. Why do you think there's so many men in the pulpit? 
Their greed for power, their greed for notoriety, coupled with their love for money and their love for fame. That's right. And because they love notoriety, love fame, love their name and lights, they placate the people. That's right. Lie to you in Jesus' name. Use you in Jesus' name. Religiously abuse you all in Jesus' name. How did they become so successful? They are successful at their satanic craft because the public is ignorant of Scripture. That's right. Do you know a police cannot violate your rights when you understand and know the law? You can throw the law back in his face. A false prophet cannot con you, dupe you, lie to you, use you when you know God's scriptural law. When he try to pull you left, you can take the word of God and throw it right back in his face. So the Lord says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. That's why we take our time to take the Bible apart, strip it, break it down, show you the truth of the scriptures, make the Bible harmonized so you know what you're saying amen to, so you know what you're shouting about. Listen at this now in the book of Ephesians. In Ephesians chapter 3, we'll start at verse 1. All right. For this cause I, Paul, the prisoner of Jesus Christ. Paul, an apostle. Yeah. Born in Tarsus, in the city of Cilicia, set under the feet of Gamalia. Scripture says he was a doctor of the law. Gamalia was a Pharisee. You had two groups of Pharisees and Sadducees. Sadducees did not believe in the spirit world, but the Pharisees did believe in the spirit world. So Paul was taught according to the perfect manner of the law. He came out the first tribe that offered Israel a king, tribe of Benjamin. Benjamin was the youngest son of Jacob. When he was born, he was called Benodai. On the road to Damascus, a light shone from heaven above the brightness of the sun, and that's when Paul was called. That's right. Saul, blessed be God, Saul. Why persecutest thou me? Why are you persecuting me? And he said, who art thou, Lord? Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus. That's who I believe he is. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. Huh? That's right. And the word of God said there's only one Lord. That's one Lord. So here, as the word of God said, there's only one Lord, and the Lord confessed That's right. and admit who he was, and, you know, and no one know him better than himself. That's right. And if the Lord said he's Jesus, you might as well shut your mouth. That's right. And agree with him. That's right. The Lord didn't say he's the second person in the Godhead. And the Lord. Yeah, the Lord didn't say he's the third person in the Godhead. No. The Lord didn't say that he was a little God. No. And the Lord didn't say he was a God. No, no. Mm -mm, not that. Not that. I want this to be good for you uh, people that got multi-gods in heaven. That's right. You don't know who to pray to. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost. These three are one. Three what? That's right. I'm a son at birth. I'm a husband at marriage. I'm a father because me and my wife got seven kids. You know, it ain't three genos up here. No. Are you that blind? That's right. Are oh, you get what I'm telling you? That's right. He's father. He bears the title father because he's the maker of the universe. Yeah. Bears the title son because the maker of the universe was manifested in the flesh. And that flesh that Mary birthed was called son of God or son of the highest. Highest. Showing you there's a nature higher than the flesh that came from his womb. Right. Came from a womb. He bears the title Holy Ghost because Holy Ghost means keeper, comforter, giver of power. Hallelujah. Right. For it is written, you shall receive power. After that, 
the Holy Ghost has come. So the Holy Ghost is not his name. The Holy Ghost is his title that describes his function. He's a keeper. He's a mover. That's right. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. You hear Genesis talking about the Holy Ghost. That's right. When the prophet said how the spirit of the Lord moves upon the face of the deep. That same spirit covering you and move you to speak in another tongue. Right. And the spirit, hallelujah, of God gave utterance. That's right. That same spirit give you breath. Yeah. That same spirit give you life. Right. Until Paul said, in him we move, we live, and have our being. That's, right. That's the Holy Ghost. That's God. That's Christ, that's Jehovah, that's Elohim, that's the I am. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. What is it? And he said, who art thou, oh, Lord? thou Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus, Why? whom thou persecutest. It is hard for thee. To kick against the priest. So here you had Paul called to the apostleship, but he wasn't made right there. Reason why he wasn't made right there, he had no baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. And he didn't have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. Right. And he was in a blind state. That's right. An apostle's not in a blind state. No. An apostle can see. That's right. Send them down to the street that is called straight. There was a certain disciple. The Bible didn't say it was a certain preacher. Certain disciple. There's a certain follower. At Damascus. At Damascus and by the Ananias. name of Ananias. And to him said the Lord in a vision. The, the Lord talked to him. Ananias, and he said, Behold, I am here, Lord. I am here, Lord. And the Lord said unto him, Arise. Get up. And go into the street which go is called to Straight. to the street that is called and Straight. And inquire in the house of Judas for one called Saul of Tarsus. And what? For behold, he prayed. Oh, I got him. I got him. Ananias, I got a hold of him now. That's right. I got him praying. Ananias laid hands on him that he may receive his sight, baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. When straightway preaching that Jesus was the Christ. That's right. Paul was made an apostle That's right. by hands of heaven. Oh, yes. When he said, I, Paul, the prisoner, in the third chapter of the book of Ephesians, in verse 1. For this cause I, Paul, the prisoner Paul of it. Jesus Christ. The prisoner of who? Of Jesus Christ. The question is, when was he arrested? Are you getting the old man? Go ahead, man. He was arrested when the light shined from heaven. That's right. That's Above right. the brightness of the sun, the Lord stopped him. And as he journeyed, Glory to God, listen at this. In the book of Acts chapter 9 and at verse 3. As he journeyed, he came near Damascus. He came near Damascus. And suddenly, suddenly, there shined round about him a light from heaven. You know, when you want to break out of prison, all the spotlights go on. That's right. Sirens start ringing. And you go running all over the place. That's right. You got to remember Paul's reputation before God stopped him. He was a murderer, yeah. an injurious, a persecutor, right. a blasphemer. blasphemer. But he declared, I obtained mercy. mercy. All of us sitting here today must, must admit we're sitting here because we obtained mercy. That's right. It ain't got nothing to do with how tough you are. None of that. None of that. If you've been shot and still living, mercy. That's right. Stabbed, still living, mercy. Yeah. Got drunk and someone had to take you home, mercy. That's right. OD, still alive, mercy. That's right. Do you hear what I'm telling you? Who was before a blasphemer? Listen at this. First Timothy 1 and verse 13. Who was before? A blasphemer. Blasphemer. And a persecutor. Persecutor. And injurious. Injurious. But I obtained mercy. Glory to God. Why? Because I did it ignorant. I was ignorant when I was acting like this. In unbelief. And I didn't believe in God. That's right. That's right. So now the warden stops him. <laughs> That's right. Glory to God. That's right. God saw some good in him. Imagine. God see good in you. And you a murderer? That's right. Injurious? Injurious. Persecutor? That's right. You out there partying, yeah. dancing, smoking, yeah. lying, yeah. swearing, yeah. living together, not married, right. second wife, second husband, That's right. and God bring light to you because he sees some good in you. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. Do you hear this in Titus, the third chapter? And at verse 3. Look at yourself that are here and you that are watching. That's right. 
There is, one scripture says, there is some good in you. That's right. The scripture says so. That's right. There is some good in you. Some good. That's the only reason why you're still living. <laughs> There's some good in you. That's right. And God want to take that good in you and use it for his glory. That's right. That's what he made you for. That's right. He didn't make you to act like a fool even though you are a fool. That's right. Because there's some good in you. Some good in you. And God wants that good to develop, That's right. grow, use for his glory. That's right. So your life can evolve, thank God around him. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. Listen at this. Skip chapter and verse. Titus chapter 3 and verse 3. Listen now. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. All of us can say amen to that. Oh, yes. Me definitely, Pastor. Oh, yes, I know you. you. <laughs> Foolish. He, he, he believed in three gods one time. That's right. Foolish. Foolish. He believed that the Holy Ghost was the British gentleman. Gentleman. He believed that the Holy Spirit walked around with a tuxedo and a top hat. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Hey man, he really believed that stuff. That's right. He used to believe in women preachers. That's he right. He believed in uh, so-called Reverend Ike. And yeah. Even Shambach laid hands on him. Oh, yes. That's why I'm watching him. <laughs> Amen. All of us Amen. can reflect back at our past. Oh, yes. And you got to admit, if it wasn't from God, no. you wouldn't be here now. That's right. God could have cut you off in the midst of your sins, in the midst of your fake religion, because in the midst of these fake religions, there are many, countless, of sincere people oh, yes. that really want to do the right thing. That's right. All they need, glory to God, is for heaven to show mercy. Oh, yes. And open their eyes. That's right. Paul was a murderer. murderer. Listen at this. For, still in Titus chapter 3 and verse 3. We ourselves also were sometimes foolish. Weren't we? Oh, yes. What else were we? Disobedient. Hard head. <laughs> Amen. What else? Deceived. Trick. We fooled our own self. That's right. And Serving diverse lusts and pleasures. Serving all kind of lusts and pleasures. I know you were if you live here in Miami. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Am I right, I said? Yes. My, 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 Miami is the land of divers lusts lust. and pleasures. That's right. Did you see how, how did he approach lust, lust and pleasures? Serving. Wait, he did what with it? Serving. Yeah, he served it up. Divers lusts and All pleasures. All kind of lusts and pleasures here in Miami? Miami. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Hey Amen. You right. got to want to be saved just to live here. Oh, yes. It's easy to go to hell in Miami. Amen. <laughs> huh? And man, here you come all the way down here <laughs> hey, to come hear the gospel preached in Miami. In Miami. Here, yeah, hot as it is, you got on them old long dresses and got your head covered. And brothers got long pants on, not out there in shorts and all that stuff. And hey, man, don't have your back out, no deep cut necks, no splits in your clothes. That's right. You want to be saved. <laughs> if you didn't want to be saved, you'll find a phone booth and do the Clark Kent. Oh, yes. <laughs> you coming out of that stuff. That's right. And fly around. That's right. Glory to God. Come on, son. Serving divers lusts and pleasures. Serving divers lusts and pleasures. Living in malice Living and in envy. malice, envy, hateful. hateful. And hating one another. But what happened? But after that. Glory to God. Amen. After that, the kindness of oh, love. Wait, wait, wait. What came? The kindness. The kindness. And love of and God, love our of Savior. God, our Savior toward man appeared. Not by works of righteousness which we it have done. It wasn't because you were so great, but so good. Mm -hmm. No. But according to his mercy. Wait a minute. Why are we here? According to his mercy, he saved us. Why are you here, Miami? What is it? Mercy. Mercy. You that are watching around the world, Mercy. 
According to God's mercy, what did he do? He saved us. How? By the washing of regeneration. By the, hallelujah. By the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. And renewing of the and Holy the Ghost. the Holy Ghost speaking in other tongues. Which he shed on, Which us, he abundantly shed on abundantly us abundantly through Jesus Christ through our Savior. Jesus Christ our Lord. He come along and died. Oh, yes. And his death opened up the way for us to have life. That's right. Third chapter of the book of Ephesians. Let's go back now. Back in Ephesians 3 and verse 1. Everybody all right? Follow me. Get for, this now. For this cause I, Paul, the prisoner of Jesus Christ. It takes, there's an appointed time, brothers and sisters, where you're going to be arrested oh, yes. for your good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. I was arrested years ago. Yeah. Amen. One of the greatest days of your life is when the Lord arrests you. That's right. Light come. What is light? Information. That's right. The information here you had, light shine above the brightness of the sun. That's what truth does. Oh, yes. Truth shine brighter than the lies you learned all your life. That's right. Sometimes, just like the light of the sun hurts your eyes, sometimes the truth hurts you. Oh, yes. And you like, you mean to tell me what I was taught is wrong? I was baptized wrong? Yeah. You mean to tell me I've been claiming the Holy Ghost and never spoke in tongue? The woman said, you mean to tell me I'm not a preacher? That's right. But Pastor Jennings, I got my license. You got paper. That's right. Come on back to Bible, Grandma. That's right. Come on back. That's right. Oh, well, thank God everybody got to come on back to Bible. That's right. I Paul the, the prisoner. prisoner of Jesus Christ. Now, viewers and you that are here, I want to encourage everybody when the Lord come in the form of the message of truth, oh, yes. be willing to be handcuffed That's right. by him. That's right. Be willing to be constrained by him. That's right. Be willing to submit to the nightstick of the gospel. <laughs> Amen. That's designed to beat you into submission. That's right. That's right. Yeah? That's right. You know, in the natural prison, I don't care how tough you are. <laughs> I don't care what kind of name you had on the street. You out there on the street, I'm Mad Dog Sam. <laughs> oh, see Mad Dog Sam coming down the street, everybody run. That's it's right. Mad Dog Sam. It's Mad Dog Sam. Mad Dog Sam, all he got to do is walk inside of a bar. All yeah. the, the DJ stop. Everybody freeze when they dance. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who came in? Mad Dog Sam. That's right. You get what I'm telling you? Amen. <laughs> when Mad Dog Sam go to prison, yeah. whole different ball game. Oh, yeah. Nobody can on the belt. He's called Mad Dog Sam. <laughs> no, no. You know what he answered to? What's your name? Five, six, seven, eight, two, seven, one. That's right. What's your name? Five, five, six, seven, eight, two, seven, one. You That's just it. got a name. That's it. That's all you got is a number now. That's it. Viewers. God want to strip you from your sinful name. Yeah. He want to put a number on you. Oh, yes. Acts 2.38. That's right. Acts 2.4. That's right. Isaiah 9 and 6. Amen. Revelation 1.8. Amen. Want to throw some numbers at you. Numbers at you. <laughs> That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. For this cause I, Paul. I, Paul. A prisoner of Jesus Christ. That's why I'm here in Miami. Amen. Got the nightstick of the scriptures with me. Oh, yes. Crack you over the head to let you know it ain't no three gods. That's right. <laughs> we want to raid your house. That's right. <laughs> huh? That's right. Raid your house. Got all the apostles and prophets come out with, with Bible. That's right. We hear something going on in there. That's right. Some religious drug dealers. Yes. Kick the house down. Amen. Arrest everybody. That's right. Wonderful. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Wonderful. The greatest day of your life yeah. Amen. is when the Lord take that crack pipe out of your hand. Hallelujah. 
Take that joint out of your mouth. That's right. Take that liquor out of your life. God will wake you up and put you on a straight path. Oh, yes. Make a real man out of you. Yeah. Make a real woman out of you. That's right. Make you do what you never thought you would do. That's right. Bow to him. Amen. Pray to him. Call him by his name. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. No more on the corner in your neighborhood. That's right. No more drinking. No more smoking. No more. No more gambling. Club don't see you no more. Oh, yes. The whole crowd changed now. That's right. That's right. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Yeah. Amen. It takes a hard gospel. Yeah. That's right. Oh, yes. This old little lightweight trash that's falling in these churches don't sustain nobody. That's right. Because the preachers are afraid to touch your sin. Oh, yes. Don't want to offend you. Don't offend you. Scared of losing members. That's right. I wouldn't care if everybody walk out, as long as God don't walk out. That's right. People have asked me, aren't you afraid to lose members, Pastor Jennings? No. No. I'm afraid to lose my soul. That's right. Souls will come and go. Oh, yes. But I, I don't want to lose God. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? For this cause I, Paul, the prisoner, the prisoner of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ want to arrest the world. That's right. He handcuffed us with scripture. What yes. do you mean? When you're handcuffed, you have been restrained. Oh, yes. God wants to restrain our will. That's right. Our ungodly usage of our hands, he wants to restrain them. That's right. And now you can use them for his glory. His glory. He wants to restrain your mouth. Yeah. Give you a new tongue. That's right. Change your language. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Make you talk. Hallelujah. In a manner that you never talked before. That's right. Wants to restrain your feet. Yeah. So it don't go in the same places. That's right. That you used to go. Yeah. So God says a good man's steps oh. is ordered by the Lord because he directs his path. So when the scriptures guide the steps, you go past the places that you used to go. That's right. That's right. And now you say, I was glad when they said unto me. Let us go. Yes, we take God to the house of the Lord. That's right. Being a prisoner, naturally, there are rules. Yeah. That every inmate got to abide by. That's right. You go in the cell when the prison say. That's right. You put on the clothes that the prison say. That's right. You go in the yard that the prison say. Yeah. And when you break any of the prison rules, you are disciplined. That's right. They may put you in the hole. Yeah. I'd rather go in the hole. <laughs> That's right. Than go to hell. That's right. That's right. Amen. Because if I go in the hole, I can pray in there. Pray in there. Huh? That's right. Oh, I take God, I can pour heaven while I'm in there. Oh, yeah. And at the appointed time, come out. But if I go to hell, go to hell. I can pray all I want. That's right. I will never come out. That's right. Because while I live in this life, this is the time lent to me to repent and get myself right now. Now. That's Once right. you're cast into hell, the Bible said, with the worm don't die. don't die. And the fire don't quench. For he saith, I have heard thee in a time you think accepted. You are a tough man because you were in the game. Yeah. Gangster disciples. Oh, yes. Mexican mafia. Yeah. Bloods. Crips, yes. who, cares? who cares? Don't you know there's someone tougher than you? That's right. Your breath is in your nostrils. That's right. Your breath is lent to you by your Lord. Oh, yes. And he don't give two cents of your nationality. When God snatch your breath, That's what right. can you do? What can you do? Give me Ecclesiastes yeah. chapter 8. And verse 8. That's right. And let's hear Brother Solomon. Yes. Let's see what can a person do when it's time for God to take him and kill him. In Ecclesiastes chapter 8 and verse 8. Listen at this. There is no man that hath power over the spirit. Do you hear this? Amen. 
Give chapter and verse again. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 8 and verse 8. There is no man, no man that has power over the spirit. White man, black man, no yellow man. man, brown man, if you're polka dot, if you're plaid. That's right. No you're man. You're a plaid man and got a polka dot twin brother. That's right. That would be something, wouldn't it? That, that would be something. That would be something. Oh, yes. A polka dot bishop and a plaid deacon and a striped <laughs> elder. Amen. Rainbow coalition. That's right. Huh? There is no man. There is no man. That has power over the spirit. I want you to hear this hard head, stubborn, self-right. I don't care how rich you are. That's right. That's I right. met millionaires, plenty of them. Yeah. Don't care what you got. Oh, yes. I've been, I've been to millionaires' houses. <laughs> I don't give two cents. I went to one millionaire's house and was agreed to sit down and the wife didn't want me to sit in some chair by Louie to somebody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 Reverend, Jen, Reverend Jennings, you can't sit here. You, you, can't, you can't sit here. <laughs> Amen. If Louie behind was good enough to sit there, so is mine. That's right. That's right. Some That's folk right. is so vain. Dang. That's save right. dishes for your guests. You mean to tell me your dishes you can't eat out of? <laughs> you save them for guests and you don't even hardly have guests at your house. Amen. Got a crystal glass and won't even drink out of it. That's right. Someone bought you dishes for your wedding and got little crystal and expensive wear. Oh, this is for a special time. You give me that bowl, I eat some Kraft and Crunch with crunch berries out of <laughs> That's it. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Amen. 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 <laughs> hey, Jim, that bowl costs a million dollars. I get some whole milk, some Captain Crunch with crunch berries. Hey, Amen. I get another bowl and get some Lucky Charms. That's right. Because they are magically delicious. <laughs> You're so foolish. So foolish. I'm, let, I'm using my nightstick to let you see that you came in the world without anything, anything. and you're going out the same way. That's right. Ain't no need to get caught up in nothing. That's right. That's right. Special spoons for guests and all that foolishness. Amen. My wife know the way I am. I don't care what I hear. Don't she know not to tell me? Well, you know you can't drink out of that. Who? Me? <laughs> Amen. That's I right. I drank water out of crystal, out of silverware. I don't care what it is. Amen. Hard as I work, and now you're going. You can't use that dish. Who? Who? Me? <laughs> That's right. Thou speaketh to me? <laughs> My wife is not like that, though. Amen. But there are some folk that are like that. Oh, yeah. You go to their house, you can't sit down on that, you can't sit on the furniture, you know? Nah, nah, nah. That's nah. right. Don't get caught up in nothing. That's right. Please understand, you came broke, you're dying broke. Dying broke. <laughs> the best thing you can obtain in this life while you're here it's God himself. That's right. I want you to realize you don't own nothing. No. Even if you got your house paid off, you don't own it. That's right. Because when you die, you can't take nothing with you. Well, we brought nothing into this world. Do you hear the Bible First, talking? First Timothy chapter 6 and verse 7. We brought nothing, nothing into this world. Nothing. 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 Well, we brought nothing into this world. Have your stocks, have your bonds, have your CDs, make your investments and own your property. Amen. Amen. Have your car collection fine on your rolls royce your bentley your ferrari that's right. your 1950 maserati your two-door 1938 two-door coupe cadillac that's your right. 1936 pierce arrow amen amen, amen. Have it, I said. for we brought nothing into this world but when you die we brought nothing into this world and it is certain we can carry nothing out i believe that that's and that's why i preach like i do that's right what a person had, that don't make me look up to you. No. No. Only one I look up to is God. That's right. Do you get what I'm telling you? There is no man that has power over the spirit. Notice Ecclesiastes 8 and 8. There is no man. There is no man that has power over the spirit. Over the spirit. To retain the spirit. To keep the spirit. Neither has he power. Neither has he power. In the day of death. In the day of death. And there is no discharge in that war. Do you hear this? That's right. No man. No man. No, no man. man. No, no man that has power can over have the spirit. Power over God. When God comes and says, uh, it's time for you to go. That's right. 
been out here drinking and smoking and partying, acting like a fool. I done gave you warning. I done gave you time and time, but you're still in your sins. That's right. You're still out here partying. You, you, you hear the message that says repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, and you listen to it just for amusement. You listen to it just to enjoy it. That's right. You listen to it, then say that's the truth. Yeah. But you're too stubborn, too hard headed too arrogant, too self-righteous to obey it. That's right. So then God send the deaf angel yeah. and give him charge. Oh, yes. To come knock on your door, right. alter the rhythm of your heart, yeah. change your breathing. Right. That's right. And the doctor say, any time now. Oh, yes. But while you're breathing, God's still giving you time. Oh, yes. Any time now. Any time. Do you hear what Solomon says? There is no man that has power All over All of you that are spirit. watching, you better get this, you wealthy folk. Oh, yes. Who think you can buy your way into heaven. That's right. You don't own nothing. God owns the universe. That's right. And that which is beyond the universe. Oh, yes. Eternity belongs to him. That's right. And there is no man that has power over the spirit. No president. No man. Yeah, man. No president. I haven't met no president yet that can shake death off. No. Huh? No, no. I don't care how much the people love him. When death come knock on the president's door, he leaves. That's right. I don't care how many people knock on the door of a dictator, best or love a dictator. When the Lord say, take him. That's it. Dictator got to die. That's right. Queen got to die. And whatever way he chooses for you to die, that's what he going to let happen. Oh, yeah. Whether it's by car accident, well, while you die in your sleep, choke on a bone. Go ahead, or man. just drop dead while you're up there blaspheming. That's right. That's right. That's right. Remember. That's right. God rules. That's right. Over to God in the kingdom of men. There is no Amen. man. Eh? Amen. God rules. Yeah. Every king, every queen, oh, every yes. mayor, every governor, every white man, every black man, every yellow man. That's right. God almighty rules. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every preacher. Hallelujah. Over to God. God rules. That's right. Amen. Regardless of what religion you are, bow to your idol, pray to your statue. That's but right. when the great God of heaven and destroy everything with the brightness of his coming, That's right. you will understand that God rules. That's right. Hallelujah. Hey man, you're gonna realize that statue of the elephant can't help can't uh, help you. No, no. You're gonna realize that statue of that bald head man with a pot belly can't help you. That's right. You're gonna realize that statue of that image on the cross, that can't help That's you. That's right. You're gonna realize that picture of Master Farad Muhammad, that can't help you. Oh. You're gonna realize that picture of Elijah Muhammad. That can't help. That's you. right. You're gonna realize that picture of a so-called white Jesus. That can't help. You. That's right. There is no man. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hey, there is no man. No man that has power over the spirit. That have power over the spirit. To retain the spirit. Nobody. Nobody. No man. God used COVID. That's right. To snatch millions. Oh yes. And what could you do? Leave mothers and fathers That's crying. It. That's it. God used what he wanted. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. I'm about to say, well, Pastor Jennings, I had COVID, but my buddy had COVID. He died. Why did I still live? God didn't want you yet. That's right. That's all. That's all. God just simply didn't want you. Amen. Why didn't he want you? Giving you time yeah. to mend your ways. That's right. Stop your idolatry wish up. That's right. Come on back to him. Yeah. Get on his side. Oh, yeah. And there is no man. There is no man. That has power over the spirit. That got everybody here and everyone watching around the world. That's you right. ain't got no power, you old weakling. That's right. Eh? That's right. You little weak thing, amen. Many of you rich now. And somebody got to wipe the slob mm. off your mouth and the snot out your nose. That's truth. Hey, man, you got to be rolled around with all your multi-millions. Bless God. But That's who right. had the last say? That's who right. had the last say? The God of heaven that you wouldn't give two cents for. That's right. You put your girlfriends over God. You put your boyfriends over God. You put your investments yeah. over God. You put your lifestyle over God. You put your fake beliefs over God. And when you put anything over Ooh. God, that thing is your God. That's and right. you make God jealous. And when you make God jealous, he knock on your door. That's right. And let you know it's time now. That's right. 
Hallelujah. That's right. Yeah. Amen. God is a jealous God. That's right. Jealous. Jealous. Oh, it take God, all of you out here that says more than one God, you's a fool. That's a fool. Don't you know how jealous God is? They have moved me to jealousy. Listen at this. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32 and verse 21. That's what? They have moved me to jealousy. They have moved me to jealousy. With that which is not God. With that which is not God. They have, put, they have provoked, they me, have to provoked anger me to anger with their vanity. With their vanity. And I will move them to jealousy. God said, I believe in the 20th chapter of the book of Exodus, thou shalt have no other God before me. That's right. For no. I, the Lord, thy God, is a jealous God. Jealous God. And you blind, hell-bound, devil-deceived, backward collar cross wearing Cadillac driving men that got all these multi-gods. That's right. Any man in any form of media try to get you to believe there's more than one God, he's a fool. That's a fool. Someone said, the Bible said don't call your brother a fool. That's not my brother. That's right. That's an enemy of God. That's right. That's right. The word of God says, Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. Listen at this. In Exodus chapter 20 now and verse 5. Begin at verse 4. At verse 4. That's what? Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven verse image. Verse 3. Verse 3. What is it? Thou shalt have no other gods. Verse 1. Verse 1. Come on, son. And God speak. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Hey. God speak. God speak. All these words. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can't blame Pastor Jennings. Hallelujah. I preach there's one God because God spoke all these words. That's right. That's right. Right. He spoke it before I got here. That's right. God spake all these words. All these words. Who said it? God spake no, all these words. No, Gino Jenner said it. God spake all these no, words. No, Bishop Johnson said it. God spake all these Lawson words. Lawson said it. God spake all these Peter words. Peter said it. God spake all Paul these words. Paul said it. God spake all these words. You can't credit nobody but God himself. Nope. That's right. Now, who do you think you are? That's right. You in there got some little cross around your neck with some little hippie hanging on it. That's right. And you got little elephants and uh, statues supposed to be married with some old, ugly, dirty-looking baby there That's that right. you claim is Jesus. Amen. Got a picture in your house that you claim is Jesus. That white man ain't Jesus. No. That black man on your wall ain't Jesus. That's right. You ain't never met him. That's right. Get that lie out your house. Go ahead, brother. Am I right, I said? That's right. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Are you getting this? And God spake all Who these words. Who said it? God spake all these words. Amen. God spake. This is the nightstick of it. Oh, yes. This is the nightstick of the gospel. That's right. You down there praying to more than one God. We come along with one God here. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. Beat the three gods out of you. Oh, yes. Beat the three right out of it. Amen. Then when I ask you how many gods it is, one! <laughs> Gotta hear me no more, Pastor Jesus? That's right. It's one! Am I right, I said? That's right. Glory to God. And Come God, on, William. And God spake all these words. God said it. All these words. God said it. Glory to God. We believe it. That's it. Hallelujah. Glory That's it. God. I said if God said it. God said it. We believe it. Amen. I don't care nothing about this religious trash that come out of hell. Oh, We're no. slapping back into hell from which it came. And God spake all these God words. God spake all these words. Saying, I am the I Lord am thy God. The Lord thy God. Which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Which out of the house out of, of the bondage. land of Egypt. Out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. That's plain. That's plain. Jehovah Witness said Jesus is a God. Yeah. And Jehovah is the God. Not here. No. Not here. No, no. Not here. No, no. Amen. Two gods. Two of them. Two of them. Three of them. Amen. You're a fool. That's a fool. That's a fool. That's right. Many of folks write me and say, you call your brother a fool. No, I don't have no two God brothers. No. All my brothers in this Bible believe one. That's right. God's people believe one. That's right. I hear, hear I say God's people. That's right. Believe one. Only blind, devil deceived, hell deserving fools. Amen. Got more than one. Oh, yes. All right. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. That goes for anybody here now. That's right. You down there praying over your food. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost, these three are one. Why are you patting yourself? Yeah. What's the matter with you? Amen. What are you, patty cake now? That's right. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost, these three are one. Who's that? Who's three what? Three what? Three what or what? That's right. Three what or what? Amen. What about the scripture in the book of John? There are three that bear record in heaven. Father, word, 
The Holy Ghost and these three, these three oh, agree right. in one. That's right. Yeah. There's something recorded That's about right. the one. That's right. His Father, and He is the Word, yeah. and He is the Holy Ghost. That's right. He just simply means these three are one, which means the one God got different manifestations. That's it. Let me show you this in the book of Corinthians now. Yes. It's like Pastor Jen has got many manifestations. I'm a husband. I'm a father. I'm a counselor. I'm a preacher. Yeah. I'm a fighter. I'm a wrestler. I'm a boxer. That's right. I'm a businessman. I'm a negotiator. That's right. I'm all of that. All of that. Now, let me show you what God says. First Corinthians chapter 12, we're at verse 6. Then we go back to Exodus. First Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 6. Listen. And there are diversities of operations. There are diversities. Different. Operations. Functions. But it is the same God. No, it ain't. It is the no, same no, God. No, 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 no. The false prophet didn't say that. It is the same God. The false prophet say it's another God. It is the same God. The false prophet say the one God got help. It is the same God. The false prophet said the one God didn't make the heavens and the earth. Jesus made one side and God made the other. But it is the same God. It's the same what? Same God. Same what? Same God. What kind of functions do we have? And there are diversities of operations. Diversities. Different. Different. Operations. Same God but made heaven. Yeah. That's right. Same God made the sun. That's right. Same God made the moon. Yeah. Same God made the clouds. Yeah. Same God made the waters. That's right. Same God, singular, made man. That's right. After he said, let us. Let us. Still, same God, singular. That's right. Made man. That's right. Glory to God. And there are those speak so plain here. Amen. Come on, son. And there are diversities of there operations. Are different functions, operations. But it is the same God. Spell God. G O D. Not S. No S. All of you got G O D S. You're the fool. That's right. Listen to Pastor Jennings and get upset now. <laughs> All of you that got more than one God, you are religious fools and servants of hell. <laughs> That's right. Yes, you are. Yes, the you hell are. you going? And there are diversities of operations. And if you that's home or in some synagogue or some makeshift religious place bowing to any statue, your statue ain't no god. No. You don't believe me? Bring your statue here. Bring me one of your gods. That's right. I'll put it on television for you. Yeah. I'll spit on it right in your face. That's right. <laughs> I spit on your God. That's right. I spit right on your God. If you got guts enough to bring it here, I got guts enough to spit on them. That's right. I work my glands. Amen. And I make sure I don't miss. I go right to him. That's right. And don't you wipe it off because if he's a God, he can clean himself. Yeah. Our God is not a bird. That's right. Our God is not flesh and blood. No. Our God is, was in flesh and blood. That's right. And the flesh and blood was the lamb or the sacrifice of God to take away the sins of the world. That's Real right. Real quick. And there are diversities of operations. There are different operations. But it is the same God. Same God. Which worketh all he in all. He worketh all in all. Go back to the book of uh, Exodus, if you queen. Back if you in please. Back in Exodus chapter 20, we're at verse 3. Real quick. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. When you're in prison, you will believe this. That's right. When you're in God prison. Yeah. You'll stay in that cell so long. Bless God, uh, you're you'll wake up. Oh, there's only one God in here. That's right. Eh? That's right. You'll realize there's only one God in here. I'm behind these Holy Ghost bars so long. It disciplines you. It make you focus. Make you realize how many gods it is. Thou shalt do what? Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Why? Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. Or any likeness wait, of... Wait, wait, wait. Don't make what? Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. Why are you image? praying to an image that look like a monkey? Why are you praying to an image that look like a woman with about 13 arms? That's right. Why are you praying to a big belly bald head man that you think is Confucius? That's right. Why are you praying about bowing your head to a statue with an image on it? You say, that's Jesus. Yeah. Got a big picture of uh, John Lennon in your house that you think is Jesus. That's right. So before you leave, you kiss the picture. Good, Jesus, give me a nice day. That's right. <laughs> that's right. I know many of you got that picture in your house, a white Jesus and an old faded picture of Martin Luther King. Amen. You got Jesus and Martin, which neither one can save you. That's right. Neither one of those pictures can do anything for you. That's right. You take that picture of that so-called Jesus and take it out your house and throw it in the trash, or if you can't find a dustpan, use it with the broom. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I want to say, he sounds so mean. Isn't that wonderful? That's wonderful. I'm telling you what to do with your dirty picture that you claim is Jesus. That's right. It's a dirty picture. Oh, yes. Now, Easter's coming along, 
uh, in April. And I'm telling you in advance, don't go buy no suit. No. Don't go buy no dress because the Bible ain't never said Jesus rose on Easter. No. Nowhere. No. Nowhere did the Bible say Jesus rose on Easter. Nowhere. That's right. It's not in the Bible. Nowhere. Nowhere. That he rose on Easter. What do the word Easter mean? It means Passover. The Passover took place before Jesus was born. That's right. The Passover was when the deaf angel, blessed God, came down in Egypt, and God instructed the prophet Moses to make sure that the blood of the unspotted lamb was on the doorpost of all the Israelites. So when the deaf angel come, it will pass over all of them that's covered by the blood. That's right. Bless God, the blood on the doorpost represent when Jesus was on the cross, and they pierced him in a side out came blood and water. When you get that Blood. Hallelujah. Bless God, that blood will wash away your sins That's right. when you repent of your sins and go down in water That's right. in the name of Jesus Christ. That's so right. the deaf angel will pass over or the sting of death will be washed off. That's right. Then you'll get what I'm telling you. Thou shalt have no other gods so before take me. God, thou shalt have no other god before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. Don't make no image, no, no graven image at all. Or any likeness of anything. Where? That is in heaven above. All right, them little images that you got in your church supposed to be angels. That's right. The Bible says, Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above. Get them fake angels out your church and out your home. That's right. That's right. Hmm? That's right. Who told you those angels that was blue eyed with pink lips? Amen. And little blind curls in their head. Blonde hair. Blue eyes. And then you had the black. Society wanted to retaliate, so they made little black angles with afros. <laughs> that, that's right. Huh? That's right. <laughs> that's right. Little afro wearing angel. Amen. Amen. Sound like Paula White when Trump was running for presidency. Angels from Africa's coming. Angel, angels from Africa's being dispatched. That's right. Angels from and angels from Africa never came. They must sunk on a ship. Amen. They never came. Amen. I didn't know Africa had angels. That's right. That's the devil out of hell. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything. When you go back home now and clean your stuff up before you come to church tomorrow. That's right. Huh? That's right. When you go back home now, because you know some of you got them. Oh, yeah. Some of the churches that some of y'all go to, you sit there so happy about the stained glass cartoons. Oh, yeah. That fake Jesus on the, up there on the stained glass. That's just right. sitting there holding, <laughs> ho holding, holding a little lamb. That's right. Big old cross in your fake church, and here you got a liar on there. Liar on there. <laughs> Jesus ain't on no cross. He bit off the cross. That's right. Died and rose and ascended above all heaven. That's right. Are you listening to the old man? Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven the image. The Bible is talking. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. Thou shalt not make any. Any, any. graven image. When I go to India, to preach the truth of God there. I remember my brothers took me to a Hindu temple. And when I went to the Hindu temple, they began to tell me about the different gods that the Hindus would believe in. And I'll never forget, and the so-called idol gods was taller. They was, they was from the floor higher than the ceiling. My Lord. And I went to one who was sitting behind a glass case and it had a doorbell. And I asked the brothers, I said, well, uh, why, why is this one got a doorbell? He said, because you got to ring the bell to wake that guard up. <laughs> and, man, so I, and, and, and the idol guard had about uh, eight to ten arms, five, four to five arms on each side, big white, arms, big white eyes and big pink uh, red lips, and uh, it was painted way jet, 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 jet black mm. with big gold-looking earrings. And I rung the bell and it stayed there. I rung it again, it just stayed there. Amen. And I looked around to see who was watching and started banging on the glass. <laughs> Wake up, I said! Amen. And it just stayed there. Amen. When I was a kid, there was a show that I used to like to watch called Jason and the Argonauts. Where they had all the big images, moon and all that. I listen, if I was ringing, binging on that glass and ringing that bell, if that statue would have came to life, I guarantee every Indian around would have ran. That's right. I'm a man of God, but I would have ran too. <laughs> <laughs> huh? 
I would have left all the Hindus behind. <laughs> Glory to God. Huh? Amen. Why don't you people out here wake up? God it did not make no creature to be prayed to. That's right. God didn't make no creature to be worshipped. No. Only God should be worshipped. That... Only God should be recognized. That's right. What did he say? Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. Don't even make a graven image. Or any, or likeness, any likeness of anything, of anything that, that is in heaven that's above. In heaven above. Or that is in the earth or beneath. In the earth beneath, or that, beneath. Or that is in the water under the earth. Don't even make nothing in the water uh, or that's like the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself listen to here, them. Listen here. Listen nor here. Nor serve them. Listen here. Exodus chapter 20. Now we're at verse 5. So why in the world are you in the hospital in the chapel? Yeah. Bowing down to the images who you think is Mary. That's right. That's right. Mary like this. A little <laughs> baby like this. Joseph like this. <laughs> That's right. You look at the paintings of the Lion Trinity. The Lion Trinity. They make God an old man with a big old white beard. Mm -hmm. And they make the son a little pudgy baby with little rings on his knees. And they make the Holy Ghost a dove. <laughs> That's right. You're That's so right. foolish and so blind and deceived by your pappy, the devil. <laughs> That's right. Huh? Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. Get up off your knees. Nor serve them. Get up off your knees down there bowing to these images. Now, that's Get right. up. The moment you kneel, you disobey the Bible. That's right. Thou the moment shalt, you drop on your knees, your heart here. Thou shalt not bow Get up. Down thyself to them. The Bible says thou shalt not do it. That's a commandment. That's a commandment. That's a direct order. That's right. The Holy Ghost says. Thou shalt not bow down Get thyself up. to them. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to Get them. Up. No Get up. No service. Hey, 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 so-called preacher, Mr. Preacher. Reverend. That's right. Mr. Priest, Pope. <laughs> That's right. Call him out. Pope come in town and you infidels dropping down at his old stinking feet. <laughs> That's right. Kissing his old dirty hand. Amen. That man got to wash like you. That's right. That man got to brush his teeth or either take him out and put him in a jar like you. That's right. Huh? Thou shalt not bow down thyself. That man got to go to the health clinic like you. That's right. That man get cavities like you. Amen. Huh? Amen. He got to wear glasses That's like right. many of you. That's right. He got to cut his toenails like you. That's right. He got blood pressure problems perhaps, perhaps. like you. That's right. Go ahead, Pastor. He ain't nothing but a piece of dust that'll that's go to hell unless he obey God. That's right. Well, the Pope is the next thing to God. That's a lie, that's a lie. from the depths of hell. That's right. The Pope is a sinner. Oh, yes. You ain't never repented of your sins, never been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, don't have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue, not following what Jesus gave his apostles. You're a sinner. That's a sinner. With red shoes. <laughs> that's it. I don't care who you are, and I know God don't care. That's right. Come on, son. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. Do you hear the Bible talking? Thou shalt not. All of you that are bowing to your pastor, to the Pope, to, the Pope. to anything and anybody other than God himself. Amen. When you do it, you disobey. That's right. I wish someone would be so happy to see me. You drop on your knees. On your I'm knees. grabbing you and getting you up. Oh, yes. Let me get Bible, son. Get in Acts Acts chapter 10. Quickly now. That's right. Because I have people do that, you know. Yeah. Get so overwhelmed. Oh, that's again. It's Hercules. Hercules. <laughs> I'm falling on their knees and I grab. Hey, hey, you get up. Get yourself up. <laughs> so bowing down to me and get me in trouble with God. That's you right. see, while I'm pulling you up, I'm looking. Get up. Get up. Hurry up, man. Get up. Get up. <laughs> That's right. Oh, I know God looking. That's right. That's right. Nah, he jealous. That's right. He know what you doing. You're supposed to be doing it to him, not me. That's right. I want Acts all 10. you Catholics to hear me because Amen. you claim Peter was your first pope. Yeah. Then if Peter was your first pope, then every pope under the sun shall follow his example. Acts chapter 10 and at verse 25. Follow me. Acts 10 and verse 25. That's what? And as Peter was coming in. As Peter. Peter never called him himself the pope. No. The scriptures never called him the pontiff. <laughs> no. Huh? Oh, he no. was simply an apostle made by hands of heaven. And as Peter was coming in. As Peter came in. Cornelius met him. Cornelius met him. And fell down at his feet. Wait a minute. Cornelius fell down at his feet. And worshipped him. And worshipped 
Peter. But Peter took him up. No, Peter stuck out his foot so he can kiss it. But Peter took him up. Peter stuck out his hand so he could kiss it. But Peter took him up. Peter started speaking in Hebrew, Greek, Latin to him. But Peter took him up. Peter started singing, ha la ba la sa la ba la sha da ma fwa bwa. But Peter took him up. Hey! <laughs> That's right. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, take God. Go ahead. Peter did what? But Peter took him up. And if you bow down to your preacher, you're bowing down to a fraud. That's right. You're bowing down to a heathen. That's right. And a man walking this earth that's fit for me to bow down to. Oh, no. You let the Pope come in here. <laughs> bow down. Amen. Bow down. Bow down. To who? That's right. We bow to no man. That's right. And we bow to no woman. Amen. We bow to the God of creation. But Peter took him up. Peter took him up. Saying, stand up. Why? I myself also am a man. That's the way I feel about Pope. That, that's right. Huh? That's right. He also is a man. A man. Hmm? Amen. He eat the wrong thing, he gonna get diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. What is that? A man. He eat the wrong thing, you know he gonna do with that robe? <laughs> Huh? That's, right. That's right. And if, if anybody's in his path, in his path. <laughs> if anybody's in his path, you gonna speak that Latin? Come on, 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 come on. Am I right, I said? That's right. That's right. Go ahead, man. I'm gonna make it plain. That's right. But Peter took I'm him up. I'm looking at these men like they fell from heaven. Yeah. They fell from the womb of a woman. That's right. They got to follow this Bible or be dropped in hell by God himself. But Peter took him up. Peter took him up. Saying, stand up. Stand up. I myself also am a man. That's what I'm saying to creation. That's right. Don't you bow to no man or no statue. Get up. Get up. What you bow to before, if it's flesh and blood, it's a man or a woman or it's an idol. Just get up. Get up. All right, let's go back now to the... Uh, Book of third chapter, the book of Ephesians, so I can knock off. I, I Paul. I, for this cause, I Paul, the prisoner. Of, for this cause, I Paul, the prisoner of Jesus Christ. Of Jesus Christ. For you Gentiles. For you uncircumcised. If you have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God, of the period of time where grace is given, which is given me to you, that what? How that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery. So Paul didn't walk with Jesus in the flesh. No. But he walked with Jesus in the spirit. And Jesus revealed himself to Brother Paul. That's right. And made Paul fearless. Oh, yes. Made him a preacher and apostle. Yes. And arrested him and made him a prisoner. That's right. Viewers and you that are here, God wants you to be a prisoner. That's right. When you are a prisoner, all your outside freedoms are taken away. Oh, yeah. When in the natural, when you are a prisoner for God, oh, yes. God wants to take away all of your worldly freedoms. Freedoms. That's right. Now do you get what I'm telling you? That's right. When you're out there in the world, captivated by Satan, you dance, you party. You know, you live together, not married, out there shaking your hips. Yeah. Sisters out there here in Miami with your shorty short shorts. That's right. I mean, shorts too short for your shorts. Amen. And everything in the shorts made the exodus out the shorts. Oh, yeah. And just got a halter on, just a little string. That's right. A little, little string, a little thong, walking out here with a thong in heels. Yeah. No shame. No shame. No shame whatsoever. Amen. I mean, they walk around here in Miami, just a thong and a little piece on the top like they're in the Garden of Eden. <laughs> That's right. That's right. No shame. No shame. But when God arrests you. Oh, yes. And you become a prisoner, an yes. inmate. Under the tutorage of the apostles' doctrine. That's right. It transformed you to be the man and the woman that you never dreamed you would be. Oh, yeah. He make you hate what you used to love. That's right. And make you love the thing that you used to hate. Yeah. He changed your mind, he changed your heart, he changed your character. Yeah. See, that's what the word of God do. It reshapes character. That's right. Give you a different outlook on things. Now you start a house cleanup. Oh, yes. Start dismantling your bar. No more liquor in there. Nothing. That's right. No more house parties. Amen. Amen. House parties now become prayer meetings. That's right. Huh? That's right. People come knock on your door. Hey, yo, James, James, man, we come to hang out tonight. All right, come on in. <laughs> come on. Come on. 
Hey, James, man, what you got planned for tonight? We can pray. What? <laughs> man, you lost your mind? That's right. Oh, no, 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 no. Ain't no, ain't no more liquor here, man. Man, that beautiful bar that you had custom made? No, I tore that out. That's, 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 that's my prayer room now. Mm. Come on, y'all come on and pray with me. Well, you know, Jane, listen, man, you, we ain't down with that religion thing. You know, you, you see what I'm saying? Uh, so if we're going to go now, you see what I'm saying? And I see you late, you see what I'm saying? No, we didn't see what you're saying. You ain't saying nothing. Amen. <laughs> young men, young women, oh, yes. time to clean up now. That's right. Our young generation is getting shot, murdered, killed. Killing each other like you have like you have no morals, no ethics, like you got a hate for life. That's right. You love murder, hate God. Yeah. You love sex, hate God. You love bloodshed, but you hate God. That's right. When are you going to accept the fact that God is just giving you borrowed time? And that's what all of us are on now. Oh yes. Borrowed time. Do we know this? That's right. Do we understand this? Many of us have loved ones that are dead now. Their clothes are still in your house. Their sneakers, their shoes, their necktie, their glasses, their teeth. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm telling the truth. That's right. Yeah, their teeth is in the jar. That's right. She didn't bury Billy with the teeth because he knew he ain't going to use them. Amen. He didn't bury his wife with her teeth because she don't need them down there. No. Amen. Her mouth is shut tight. That's right. Next time her mouth or his mouth come open is when the judge comes. The Lord is coming for inmates. Oh, yes. Them that repented of their sins been baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Filled with the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. When you're an inmate, that simply means you're under a rule that you have no control over. That's right. God don't want you to have control, meaning by giving your own will out there, he wants you to have his will. His will. And his will is tough. Oh, yes. But you got to volunteer to be a prisoner. That's right. I, Paul the prisoner, you Amen. want to be able to say, when you see the Lord, Lord, yeah. I'm one of your prisoners. That's right. Viewers, God wants you to be a prisoner. Oh, yes. That false prophet that you love listening to is trying to arrest you too oh, yes. and take you to hell with him. That's right. We come along with the word of God to take all the devil handcuffs off of you. That's right. That you may be liberated yeah. and be a prisoner. Now, God got a lot of prisoners. Oh, yes. I mean, a lot of inmates, oh, yes. God knows, and he's the warden of the prison or the head of the church, and whatever rules he set, we got to do it. That's right. Don't blame Pastor Jennings. I'm just a correction officer. That's all I am, a correction officer walking the beat, and That's the Bible right. is my nightstick. That's right. Well, Pastor Jennings, no, 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 don't blame me. <laughs> Take it up with the warden. I ain't giving up my second wife because my husband lived. Don't, 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 don't blame me. The warden said you're bound by the law. That's right. As long as you live. Well, I ain't going to leave him. I don't care. You don't know what he do to me, Gino. <laughs> <laughs> ha, 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 ha. I don't want to know what he do don't to you. I want to know. That's right. But I guarantee that hell can make you hotter than him. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Now, Gino, that. That's right. Huh? That's right. You better get ready to get arrested now, Miss Thing. Hey, Miss Thing, you walk around the beaches of Miami shaking your hips out here, twerking just to be seen, and you men walking out, jumping out of cakes with gold draws and a thong in your tail, and you foolish, foul, ignorant, blind mothers and daughters and great-grandmothers and great-great-grandmothers going to a party, amen, and sticking dollar bills in the string of an old dirty tail man. That's right. Order in the church. That's right. I, Paul. For this cause I, Paul, the prisoner of Jesus Christ. There ain't no one preaching this today. No. No, no, no they no. just playing with you, playing patty cake. Patty cake. 
That's right. Now the child, did you see him play that? Patty cake, patty cake, make a man, roll him up, put him in a pan. Mm -hmm. False prophet, false prophet, make a man when he soon go to hell with his hands. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> patty cake that. Patty cake that. That's right. <laughs> Are you listening? Amen. Oh, thank God. Come on, we everybody all right. For this cause I, Paul, the prisoner of Jesus Christ. All right, it's time to get arrested, mister, mister, young man, young woman, middle age, old. It's time for you to get off these streets, get off these corners. That's right. Hey, man, you already got your gang tattooed on you, but I'm telling you right now, when you be planted in the dust, your gang can pour liquor over your casket, yes. throw a few bags of cocaine, but brother, when your eyes come open and you stand before the judgment seat of God and he said, depart from me, yeah. you workers of iniquity and you just fall in hell. in hell. All the lives you done took yeah. for what? Was it worth it? Amen. Raping that little girl? Yeah. Was it worth it? Raping that 10 year old? That's right. Was it worth it? Raping that 5 years old? That's right. Was it worth it? sodomizing that nine-year-old? Yeah. Was it worth it? No! Oh, no. These are subjects that the preachers won't touch. Oh, no. They just got you thinking that right here is heaven. This ain't heaven. No. This ain't nothing like heaven. Oh, no. Over to God in eternity, the word with God, he said, you'll wipe your tears away. Right. right here, full of tears. That's right. So the Bible said a man born of a woman in a few days is full of trouble. Acts 2, 38, the apostle says what? Then Peter said unto them, repent. God wants you to repent, Miami. Miami, God wants you to repent. The last time I was here was in 2019 when COVID first just got started. Yeah. And COVID was running all through Miami, and I came down here anyway. Yes, you did. And, my, and that was March of 2019. Was it 2020? 2020. March 2020. God bless your heart, mother. <laughs> she moved her mask to tell me that. <laughs> and after March of 2020, the country shut down. Yeah. And all of our venues was canceled. But God wasn't canceled. That's right. Even in the midst of all that COVID. And we wasn't traveling nowhere after March. Still, over 4,000 souls went down in water. That's right. In the name of Jesus Christ. Still, you should want to be arrested, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters. Oh, yes. If you were baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, you never was baptized. You just got wet. You should have just brought some soap with you to complete the job. Amen. You just got wet, that's all. You went to a Catholic church, you went in front of a preacher, and he took water and put it on your baby hair. Your baby's no more baptized than a pheasant can tap dance with Nike sneakers on. That's right. Not baptized at all. If you looked at some preacher on television, and whether it was Creflo Dollar or T.D. Snakes or Joel Alstein, or, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And uh, he told you, if you're looking at me now, like Billy Graham's son, mm -hmm. he'd take little excerpts on CNN and say, you that's watching me now, say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I'm a sinner. Wash me white as snow. And he'll tell you, if you pray this, you're born again, you're a Christian, you're no more a Christian than a duck can smoke crack and get chickens pregnant. That's right. You've been lied to. That's right. You ain't never been saved until you did it like the Bible. That's right. And the word of God says what? Then Peter said unto them, repent. No, Peter said, join the church. Repent. Peter said, pray a sinner's prayer. Peter said unto them, repent. Peter said, bow your head and raise your old dirty hand and accept Christ where you sit at. Then Peter said unto them, repent. That's what you got to do, grandma, That's right. grandpa, That's right. son, daughter, second wife, third husband, fifth cousin. Repent. You got to be sorry for being a fool. That's right. And what? And be baptized. How much? Every one of them. Everything in Miami got this to do. Every one Everything. of them. Every club got it shut down. You know one thing I... Think of the scripture, how the Lord coming as a thief in the night. Yeah. You know how scary that is? Oh, yeah. That means the world going to be functioning the way it is now. That's right. That's right. Folks going to be dancing and marrying and giving in marriage and partying and smoking, making deals under the covers and all that stuff. And you're going to hear all these screams and hollers yeah. and yell. And folks going to run all out their houses and businesses and churches. Oh, yes. And there goes Jesus. That's right. And preachers won't, they're going to find themselves 
not going up in the resurrection. That's right. They're going to find themselves, they rogue on, yes. being cast into hell. Oh, yes. Choirs burning in hell. That's right. You better run for your life. That's right. And be holy. Then Peter said unto them, repent. There's not another message that God brought today. Amen. One message. Amen. For the world. That's right. Be holy. For the Lord your God is holy. That's right. That's the message that God brought. Nothing else. Amen. Everything else is wrong. Oh, yes. God got one message. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, oh, what? in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. You get your sins washed away. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy That's Ghost. That's the promise that he make. Anybody here want to obey the incarceration that God offers That's right. from the scriptures and repent of your sins and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ? If you want it tonight, Miami, stand on your feet. Want to be baptized? Look at here. Stand on your feet. Wonderful. All of you that are standing, go to the door over there where you see them at. All of you that are standing. All of you that are standing. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You see the arresting taking place? Amen. Do you see the arresting taking place? Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. Can't get away from it. Yeah. Everybody got this to do. That's right. You have this to do. That's it. Nothing, else. nothing else. And I mean nothing else. That's right. I said nothing else. Nothing else. Huh? Amen. Brother Carlos, give him a hand. Amen. We got a large crowd to be Hallelujah. baptized. Glory to God. Give them a hand back there. Hallelujah. You see, ladies and gentlemen, these are the last days. And God has given Hallelujah. your brother a message. And it, it, it's because, of, hallelujah, glory to God. It's because of God. God says, my sheep will hear my voice. And hallelujah. the stranger, they will not follow. Hallelujah. If it was Pastor Jenkins preaching this, you wouldn't get that results all the time. No way. It is God that they hear within us. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Amen. He said, my sheep will hear my voice. My voice. And he told his apostles plainly, it is not you that speaks. That speaketh, That's right. but the voice of my Father speaketh in you. That's why there's so many people coming. That's right. It's the voice of God that is heard in us. That's it. And no one can get around God's voice. It's the voice of God. Right. I know that just burning some folks over the air now, <laughs> but here it's the voice of God. That's right. That He pokes His hearing in us. It is not genogenics. It wasn't here. I wouldn't come all the way down to Miami with a three-piece suit on in this weather. That's right. Telling you about Jesus. Do I look that crazy? That's I got a three-piece suit on. I ain't even had enough to leave my vest in my hotel. <laughs> down here in this heat telling you about Jesus. For it is not ye that speak. Do you hear Jesus talking? In Matthew chapter 10 and at verse 20. Jesus told his apostles. Hallelujah. For it is not ye that speak. It's not you that's talking. But the spirit your father spirit hallelujah of god which speaketh in you I, I i bear witness to that that's wonderful too that's the only way we're getting this universal results that's right it is god crying out in us that's it. he placed me in the wilderness of america crying out in the wilderness and the people can bear witness this is not happening nowhere in america nor the world Someone say, are you boasting? I'm boasting in the God of my salvation. That's right. And I say like Paul, no man shall stop us from this boasting. Who give me the correct time, brothers? 8.23. All right. You come on back tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Don't you go creeping to your church like an old roach coming out of a crack of a wall. That's right. Don't you do that. Amen. Stay out of your false churches. Uh, you turn them lights on, roads to be coming everywhere. <laughs> Cracking the walls, out the shoes, everything. Ah! Stay out the false church. Who? All of them. That's right. Stay away from them. Stay away from them. Come on back here tomorrow. Don't go sneaking to the beach either. <laughs> yeah? With your binoculars on. Talking about you want to witness to somebody. You don't want to witness to somebody. That's right. Come on back tomorrow. Service will begin at 11 o'clock. Let us all stand. 
Brother Williams will close us out in prayer. Father God, we do come to you once again in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Father God, for that holy message that you preached through the man of God. We thank you, Father God, for holy results. My God, for all the souls that desire to go down and ward in the name of Jesus Christ. Now bless us also, Father God, that we may not only be hearers, but bless us to be doers of thine holy word. Father God, we thank you, Father God, for everything that you've been to us and for all that you've done for us. Continue to give the pastor strength, help him. Continue to bless him to live and teach and preach thine truth according to thy precious will. Father God, we do pray and ask all these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.